Okay, so now that we've got a basic introduction to what Venn diagrams mean and also uh, about different set notations, uh, let's try to work on a few past paper questions and see how we can apply some of those concepts. Now, uh, so basically we're going to be concerned with uh, how we can convert uh, set notations like these uh, to shaded Venn diagrams and also the other way around. But before we get into that, before we move on, uh, I would want to remind you of uh, what these terms intersection uh, and union mean and what are the keywords that we uh, will be interested in when working with, working with them. So for example, uh, if we have two sets A and B and we, we're interested in their intersection, remember we used to say uh, the keyword that uh, is going to be relevant there is and that we are looking for things that are both in A and in B. So we're looking for common things between A and B. Similarly, if we were to look at the same two sets, A and B, and we were interested in their union, uh, the keyword here is going to be this word or, which means that at least one of these two conditions has to be met, that something has to be uh, at least in A or in B uh, for it to be a part of the union. So essentially, when we're doing it practically, uh, what it means is hum a ko bhi shade kar denge, and we have to combine that with everything that's in B. So B bhi pura shade ho jayega. So, so yeah, union ke case mein, we are going to combine both things. Now let's try to apply some of this here. So uh, we've got uh, this Venn diagram and we have to shade the set P union R uh, and this is in brackets and it's intersection with Q complement. So this whole thing, we have to shade this. Now in, in questions like this, we first have to think about what's there in the brackets. Okay, just now normal numbers go uh, simplify You first resolve what is in, in the brackets. So similarly, in this case as well, we first look at the brackets and see what is inside there. So we have P union R. So let's think about what this is. P union R. So any everything that is in either P or R, or in both, of course. Uh, so when we're doing it here, we will say, everything that's in P is going to be shaded. And we're going to combine that with everything that's in R. So hum R mein sab kuch jo hai, wo bhi shade kar dein. Theke? That's what it means uh, to have a union of P and R. P union R, that's going to be this set here. Theke? But that's not enough. We are, we are asked ki is puri cheez ka intersection with Q complement. So remember, intersection kya matlab hota hai? Intersection is and. Ki jo left side pe, wo condition we meet ho. And, in a, and uh, along with that, the second condition should also be met. So this is Q complement. Q complement means not Q, right? Q ke andar nahi ho sakta. That's the second condition. So ek to ye set hai. And in addition to that, there's another condition ki ye Q ke andar bhi nahi ho sakta. Okay, now this part, dekhe, that's in Q here. So P or R, when we shaded it, it was in Q ka kuch part. Bhi aare. So the second condition is telling us that we can't include this one here. So this is going to be your final result in this case. All right, let's look at another question. So let me scroll down. So let's think about this now. Okay, so in this case, we have this Venn diagram and we have to shade this set A intersection B intersection C complement. So how do we read this? We say this is A and B and not C, right? So we have to shade everything that's in A and in B as in whatever is common to A and B, but it cannot be in C. So let's think about uh, how we can do this. So again, let's do it step by step. So A intersection B, they click that one. Okay. What is A intersection B? Everything that's common between A and B, that's this part here, right? But then that's not enough. We also have another condition, and that is that we cannot be in C. C complement means not C. So C can there be nahi ho sakte. This, that's another condition that also has to be met. So your C can there wala part hai, we'll have to remove that part. So this is going to be the final shaded region in this case. Let's look at another question. So in this case, we have P union Q complement. So remember, union keywords kya hote the? It's combine. 
or if any of the two conditions is met that is going to be shaded so this case may the shading is generally going to be fairly easy up kya karenge up p ko pura shade kar dein so like this shade everything that's in p and combined with that everything that is q complement theek hai okay inme se koi bhi ek condition meet ho that's going to be union so p bhi aap pura shade kar denge q complement bhi pura shade kar denge q complement ko main ek different color se show kar deta hu just to make it clear q complement kya aayega that's everything that's outside of this set q so we can shade this whole region like this everything that's outside of q this is q complement so this red part and the green part both together this completes our shaded region for this particular problem theek hai so union mein remember we have to combine the two sets that are on both sides let's look at another example acha isme dekhiye wording thodi si change kar diya usne but uh, the concept is very similar so we have two sets we have a set a we have another set b that are shown in this diagram there is an element y ठीक है अब इनके अंदर कोई एलिमेंट वाई सो रिमेंबर एलिमेंट क्या होता था अगर आपके पास लेट्स से जस्ट एज एन एग्जांपल यू हैव द सेट ए फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव 2 5 7 इन इन द सेट दिस 2 5 एंड 7 दीस आर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द सेट ए ठीक है तो वी हैव एन एलिमेंट वाई सच दैट it belongs to a so the sign it means ki y belongs to a ki y is an element of a and y is not an element of b theek hai so what what that means is ki y a ke andar to hai aur b ke andar nahi on the diagram write y in the correct region so remember it has to be inside a so it has to be inside a but in a ke andar ab do possibilities hai ya to wo yahan pe ho sakta hai this common part ya wo yahan pe ho sakta hai dusri condition hame batati hai ki b ke andar nahi ho sakta agar hum yahan pe common part mein dalenge so that would mean ki wo b ke andar b hai which is incorrect so y can only be in this reach theek hai let's try another uh, problem so we have again we have a bracket here now so we we're going to think about that first so it says a union b intersection c so remember by union hai iska matlab hai ki a to pura ka pura shade hoga aur usme aap combine karenge b intersection c right so let's do this first for, uh, because that would be said ki pehle bracket so kar lete hain resolve uh, to make things easier so b intersection c what is b intersection c b intersection c is everything that is common between b and c that's this part here that's everything that's common between b and c now this whole thing has to be combined with a to iske sath aap kya karenge aap a ko bhi shade kar denge so hum a ko bhi sath shade kar dete hain pure ko and both of these combined is what this whole set here means theek hai let's try another example uh, a union b intersection c now ये थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है देखिए पहले ऊपर वाले केस में क्या था वी हैव यूनियन आउटसाइड एंड इंटरसेक्शन इनसाइड यहां पे वी हैव यूनियन इनसाइड एंड इंटरसेक्शन आउटसाइड सो लेट्स सी हाउ दिस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट ओके सो एज वी डिड बिफोर वी वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट थिंक अबाउट व्हाट इज इनसाइड द ब्रैकेट्स हियर सो ए यूनियन बी व्हाट डज दैट मीन ए कंबाइंड विद बी सो एवरीथिंग इन ए इज गोइंग टू बी शेडेड एंड दैट्स गोइंग टू बी कंबाइंड with everything that is in b so this is what a union b here represents theek hai but that is not enough aapne dekhna hai ki isme kya common hai with c so let's think about c as well c kya hai c is this whole circle here theek hai to aapko dekhna kya hai ki in dono sides ke andar jo blue part hai aur jo green part hai inme common kya hai so dono conditions meet honi chahiye inke dimag mein and aa raha hai both of these conditions have to be met to kaun sa region hai jahan pe dono conditions meet ho rahi hai wo wo wala region hai jahan pe blue lines bhi hain aur green lines bhi hain so we going to raise everything 
एक्सेप्ट द कॉमन रीजन सो हम बाहर वाले रीजन जो कॉमन पार्ट में नहीं आ रहा वी कैन इरेज दैट पार्ट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट वॉज रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम अस ये आपका शेड रीजन है दैट रिप्रेजेंट दिस सेट है Okay, so in the answer space, shade the region A union B complement. Okay, so it's very similar to what we've already done before. You can try it on your uh, try it yourself and see if you get the correct result. Uh, let's try to move on. Okay, so let's think about this now. So inside brackets here we have A complement union B complement, and then we have intersection with C. यानी कि A complement और B complement को combine करना है. वट एवर इज द रिजल्ट वी गोइंग टू सी कि उसका क्या चीज उसमें क्या चीज कॉमन है विद द सेट सी ठीक है सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट फर्स्ट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज एवरीथिंग दैट्स आउटसाइड ऑफ ए सो एज अ स्टार्ट जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन शेड एवरीथिंग दैट इज आउटसाइड ऑफ ए सो इट कुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस एवरीथिंग दैट इज आउटसाइड ऑफ A. Okay, so we've got this set here, and then we have to combine this with everything that is outside of B. So outside of B, what will happen? This B circle is outside of B. So we've got all of these things. We've got all of these things. Everything that is outside of B. I've done this in green here. Right, so this is everything that is outside of B. Now, what do we have left? Really, we only have this thing left here. यहाँ पे जो intersection था यहाँ पे A और B का only that is left now. ठीक है? Now, whatever we have shaded, we have to figure out what does this have in common with C. तो हमें सिर्फ वो चीज़ shaded रहने देनी है, बाकी remove कर देना है. So what is C? C is this circle. So, ये जो शेडेड पार्ट हम शेड हमने किया है उसमें सिर्फ जो सी के अंदर आ रहे विल ओनली कीप दैट एंड रिमूव एवरीथिंग एल्स सो लेट्स इरेज एवरीथिंग एल्स दैट्स आउटसाइड ऑफ सी क्योंकि वो सी के साथ कॉमन नहीं रहेगा फिर एंड वन वंस वी आर डन विद दैट वी विल सी दैट दिस इज आर फाइनल रिजल्ट ठीक है and we can shade it like this if we want just to make it clear it's going to look like this okay so let's try another question now so let's move on so this is similar to what we've done before uh, both of these are very similar to what we've done before i'm going to leave it for a few seconds so you can try these for yourself all right and uh, okay let's try this as well it's it's not exactly shading but uh, it, it's it's uh, relevant to venn diagrams in any case so let's think about this a b and c are subsets of this universal set so that that essentially means ke is universal set ke andar ye a or b a b and c sets hain it is given that b is a subset of a b is a subset of a that means if we have this set a like this B is going to be inside that, ठीक है? Because B is a subset of A, and we have another condition that A intersection C is an empty set. That means A and C do not have anything in common, ठीक है? A and A or C कहीं पे intersect नहीं करने चाहिए. We have to illustrate this on on a Venn diagram, on this Venn diagram. So हमने A और B तो बना दिए. Now where is C going to be? This tells us कि A और C के दरमियान में कुछ भी common नहीं है. That means A से C intersect नहीं कर सकता. So C is going to be somewhere outside. तो हम यहाँ पे अलग एक C का circle बना देंगे. The size doesn't matter, but it does not have to intersect with A at all. So that's going to be our final Venn diagram.